So let's talk about intake manifolds. This is a set that comes off, uh, well, this is one of a set, comes off of a Chrysler Crossfire SRT6. It's a supercharged engine. That engine uh, is the same engine that are on many of the 2000s um, year models of uh, 2003 and so on, so on of the SLK32 AMG by Mercedes. So same engine, same everything. But what happened here is uh, Rob over at Needswing and Waldig did some uh, tuning and tweaking and uh, they took a stock set of uh, the intake manifold plenums and basically what they did is they removed the restriction inlet tubes. They TIG welded some new mandrels, uh, bent the inlet tubes and formed them into the box properly. So basically what they've done is um, they've added they've taken away the restriction so air restriction if you take a look here you've got approximately 40 millimeters in this little pinch right there you got 40 millimeters of of air coming in from 60 millimeters of air from here on the new ones i'll show you right here on the new one you can see it's a full 60 millimeter all around so you've you have much more air coming in, less restriction, less restriction, more air equals more power. What they've also done is they've port and polished on the inside, okay? And they've also added Teflon coating on the inside. So if we take a look at the new ones, I don't want to show you the whole thing because there's a big surprise here, but the new ones are super soft. You can, the reason I'm using my fingers, is you can hear the difference, okay? Very soft. And so uh, remember, coated on the inside with Teflon as well. They've also added a bung at the end of it, right over here, so you can put up some gauges to read your, your boost performance um, on them. The stock ones deliver about 260 cubic feet per minute, uh, and the new tweak ones add 70 cubic feet Per, uh, per minute. So you're looking at from 260 to an increase to 330. So that's uh, that's quite a uh, an impressive impressive number right there. That's just one. So together you're looking at you know over 600 and what is this 660 fm's uh, of air. Now here's a surprise. The new Walde crossover modification to the manifolds. What it does is they connect the two plenums over the supercharger. And basically what they're claiming is they're saying that it greatly reduces the feed restriction of each port. We see an airflow uh, with reduced restriction. Typical boost pressure ratings are four to five PSIs lower with the crossover as the plenums can be fed from both sides uh, between the pulses. So basically that equalizes the air uh, less pressure being created at the lower white pie, and therefore the plenum tube stays much more cooler uh, as, as well. So uh, they're calling it a win-win scenario, increase airflow, reduce pressure, load, stress, and lower air temps. So what did they do? Well, let's take a look. So they took your stock one, right? They cut it off here, put in the bigger pipe as we saw, right there and the new one the new crossover this is the crossover part so let's get this guy out of the way here and let's get the other set and basically you're looking at i'm just going to put this in like this just temporarily just so you can get to see okay so there's your new setup it's absolutely gorgeous beautiful and um, sorry anyway so you get you get the picture right there and um uh, when you order the kit, it comes complete. You get a new set of gaskets. Make sure to use a new gasket. It also comes with, you get bolts. Make sure to get the bolts, okay? You don't want to be using the old ones. Um, and the other thing that you uh, should get is, this is the old white pipe, okay? And you hear that? Okay, very rough. That's the old original white pipe there. And you ask Rob to get you a new white pipe. And that's a tweaked out one. And the tweaked out one, well, if you take a look and, and here, 
that's also an important polish beautiful finish absolutely gorgeous and also you get the black teflon in the back which reminds me um when you order these mine are black but you can get these just about any any color uh just ask rob for a listing of colors of what he has and um he'll get it to, he can get you just about any color underneath, underneath the sun so anyways going to be installing these and i'll show you a quick photo of the after i'll show you a photo of the before and i'll show you the photo of the after but i'm looking forward to seeing and feeling how much better this is now one thing that they did that, that they do say is um that these new crossovers have enabled us to stack a larger crank pulley along with a smaller supercharged pulley and will still keep the ECU happy once the fueling has been adjusted. So in the fueling meanings, yeah, you have to increase your um, your fuel injectors and, and get the, a bumped up uh, fuel injector pump as well. But anyways, so basically the numbers from this year are uh, accordingly as about a 20 horsepower more 25 foot pounds of, of torque more um over the factory manifolds so let's get these going and let's see what it looks like after it's installed 